So the Shepherdess Master is a festival for rural women from around Aotearoa to come together and basically um, sort of a festival vibe but with a spirit of a retreat. Motu School and its surroundings will look very different in February when it hosts the Shepherdess Master. Festival director and publisher of Shepherdess magazine Christy McGregor says a three day festival is aimed at connection and rejuvenation for rural women. It's about having a weekend um, for, for themselves, um, to put themselves first often. It's the women um, in our busy lives that are running around doing everything for everyone else and this is a chance for them to um, come and do something for themselves. You know, hopefully there'll be lots of friendships formed too when you bring women together that are, you know, like-minded, going through similar experiences. Um, you know, they're either your friends or they're friends you haven't met yet. The festival lineup includes workshops by local contemporary weaver and artist Fiona Collis and entertainment by New Zealand stand-up comedian Michelle Court. It's all about bringing the experiences that you might get every day in the city to women in rural areas. It's a three-day event. We've got burlesque performance, we've got a comedy show, we've got workshops, arts workshops, entrepreneurship workshops, um, guest speakers, health and wellness providers, um, and beauty appointments. I'm really excited about it because I think it's a great opportunity for local women who will be able to take part in creative workshops and there'll also be entertainment and camaraderie with other women which normally they would have to travel probably quite a long distance to participate in because we're quite isolated here. The muster is a result of conversations with the farming community to bring solutions to issues rural women face. I guess it came from conversations with farming women Tairawhiti um, back a few years ago and we were talking about the isolation that exists for women on farms and in rural communities and you know while it might not be hugely geographically isolated in rural Aotearoa it's still um, a lot of social isolation so you know women might be raising children at home on the farm while their partner's out working long hours or um, you know trying to run a business but isolated from you know other women that are in business. The isolation of Motu, located 80 kilometres out of Gisborne City, was also the draw card to host the event. So a lot of people are like, why are you going to Motu? But um, where is that? <laughs> We'd been to a few different spots in Tairawhiti looking at places that might be suited and we came to Motu and were greeted really warmly by the Motu you know, locals and we've been working with a, a committee of women from across Tairawhiti which includes women from Motu and you know it's a small school, it's got seven students at the school, um, one school building and a great field. It'd be really good for our community house because um, hopefully some of these people who come and take part in the event will really enjoy it and love the area and decide to bring back their families to, to stay here. Gisborne, Wairau and Apotiki locals will get first dibs with early bird tickets available from this Thursday. General attendee tickets will be available from the 17th of November. Renee Lola here, Local Focus.